Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. I'm Adam and this is the one and only battle video I'm uploading today as I'm running out of good battles. Um, this is the only good one I can find. Um, this one as you can see is a ghost sight team versus Lucas's team and Lucas is in a lot of these battles. Um, and uh, my mega is Gengar, my Z move user is Miss Magius. Um, not really much else to say, let's get into it. So I'm going to lead off my Drift Blim, because why not? Drift Blim is Drift Blim. And Luke's going to lead off with his Volcarona. He's going to go with Fire Blast, which does quite a bit of damage to me. And I hit back with a Thunderbolt, hoping to paralyze. Unfortunately, I'm not lucky. I then get hit by a Poison Jab, and that's the end of Drift Blim already. No, nope. okay, never mind. I go, I go another Thunderbolt, hoping to paralyze. And I didn't. So another poison jab will take me down. That's the end of Drifting. I then go into Mimikyu to because I have an automatic substitute up, so I'll be fine. I go I use that to go with Shadow Sink. Unfortunately I get burned so my attack is halved and I'm going to get hit by a poison jab which takes away my disguise. I'm going to go another shadow sink which won't do as much but it's just chipping away at Volcarona's health. Well, he goes for a fire blast, which does quite a bit of damage to me, but along with the burn, does around half. I go with one more shadow sneak, and I get hit by another poison jab, which I believe will KO. No, okay. One more shadow sneak. This time. I hope this is the last one. Uh, yeah, still didn't take down the Volcarona. I'm then going to Aegis Slash now. Taking the big risk here by going with Shadow Sneak and hoping to not get the burn from the flame body. And luckily I didn't. Next is Drapion, however, which resists ghost type attacks. So I just go with King Shield, hoping to get hit by a Crunch. Well, it won't hit me now because if it if he did go with physical move, it'll just um that's not earthquake, it would have just slowed his attack. I go sword stance. Now knowing I won't be able to take another earthquake. I decide to go with my second move. My second attacking move was Lucas goes with Toxic Spikes. Okay. I go with Sacred Sword. Which does a fair amount of damage to Drapion. Not as much as I would have wanted, but a fair amount. I go into King I go to King Shield again to go to my defensive form. Ready to get hit by another earthquake when it comes. But instead it's the ground type Z move. Which doesn't really do much, and I'm glad about that. And now it's a critical hit as well. Another earthquake comes out. 
That's going to do quite a fair amount of damage. More than Tectonic Rage did anyway. Stance change, and I'm going to go another Sacred Sword, which will finish off the Drapion. Next is Electivire. And I just go with Shadow Sync because I know I'm going to lose it anyway. So I just do as much damage as I can. I send out my Miss Magius next. To get hit by Thunderbolt. Which doesn't do much, whilst I go with Shadow Ball. Which to finish us off the that's why. Next is Alakazam. It's now a three on three. Yeah, because I'm just going to Mega Evolve and take my Levitate ability. I'm going to hit me with a rather strong Shadow Ball. I don't know if I survived it. No, I didn't. If I did, I would have gone with a Ghost Type Z move. I go with my Chandelier next. And I get poisoned by the toxic spikes, which I forgot about. But I was saving my last Pokemon, which is a poison type, for well, last. I get hit by a rather strong Shadow Ball, but I'm not able to take it. Eat, eat a Citrus Berry to gain more health. And then hit back with a rather strong Shadow Ball. Which doesn't really take down the Alakazam, but does a fair amount of damage. Knowing this is the end for Chandelure, I um, salute it and hope and pray that my last Pokemon will be able to do something. And here it is, Gengar. And to my surprise, I actually outsped the Alakazam, finishing it off. Next is Salamence, which I believe I've done uh, maybe two, two turns worth of damage on it, with the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, nearly took it down, but didn't... Um, Fully take it down, but nearly did, so that's something. Get hit by a Dragon Pulse, which doesn't even do half. I hit it with a Sludge Bomb, which is Stab, which would definitely finish it off. Next is, finally, is Lucario. So I'm going to go with my Shadow Ball, which um, would do a fair amount of damage to it. And I get hit by one more Dragon Pulse, which doesn't do much, but does get me down to yellow. Whilst I finish off the Lucario with another Shadow Ball. Ending the battle, and what was in Lucas's favour, turns in my favour, within the span of one Pokemon. So it goes without saying, the MVP on my team is definitely Gengar, being able to outspeed and KO Alakazam, Salamence, and Lucario. The MVP on Lucas's team, uh, probably the Alakazam, as it took down my Miss Magius and the Chandelure. But I'm not entirely sure. Might have been Volcarona, as it took down Driftlim and Mimikyu. But in my opinion, they're not as impressive as the other two. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was actually all for this battle. Uh, Gengar came in clutch there. Um, and that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press that notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.